Hey guys, what's up? It's Crowd9 here with more Undertale. And a lot of you guys asked for longer episodes, so you know what? We're gonna get you some longer episodes. Anyways, we laugh last left off when uh, we had the spaghetti save file. So let's just go on from here. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap. This design to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you are progressing. Fairly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. So the homie Papyrus gave us some spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold. It's stuck on the table. Pretty sure we read that last time. But anyways, there was also an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. So I've um. <laughs> I've been uh, zooming through some uh, Undertale stuff. Basically, I have the soundtrack uh, fully, and I've been listening to it a lot. And there's a certain thing that I really want to hear. And um, I'm also gonna do something that I wasn't hundred percent. His name is Jerry. It's the one in the middle, right? Ice Cap, Jerry, Chili Drake, Ice Cap. Jerry. Alright then. I I guess we have a Jerry in the house. Your head looks so naked, Kasai. Brush my teeth? No. What the fuck? Somehow we made it, and I'm not gonna question how. We just got through it. Kasai, no bad time, only dead time. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Ah, 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 ah. Ah! Mate, let's kill the children. I like Jerry. We're gonna keep Jerry alive for a little bit longer. Oh, I wanted to read what he said. He said something about the music. Damn. Ba -bam! I'm getting better with the critical hits. Jerry tells everyone it has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, I kind of want to spare Jerry. Ditch. You and the other monsters ditch it, Jerry, when it looks away. Oh, that's so sad. Is there anything behind these trees? One thing I learned um, from like two parts ago is that there could be things behind these. So who knows? Maybe we'll find some uh, cool things. Huh. What the fuck? X marks a spot between these. So, on the snow? Here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's some like old school things right there. Anything else right here? No, we're good. That's pretty cool to integrate the snow. Oh no, they have axes. What's that smell? Where is that smell? If you are a smell, identify your smell. Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Oh, it's two dogs. They're kissing. Aww. Now, do I spare them? Well, fine. I could pet them. The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Pause off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? Um. Okay. Oh shit, that was easy. The dogs are revalidating your smell. Re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again. But you smell just as weird as before. What's that smell? Smell mystery. Alright, so... This is actually pretty easy. Think of the blue stop sign. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tail? Hey. So I'm not going to be sparing everyone, only like interesting looking characters. Uh, the dogaris is too suspicious of your smell. Stop, don't touch her. Beware of dog. So... If this continues, I will kill them. I'll kill one of them. Resniff. The dog sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What smell like a... Uh, are you actually a little puppy? The fuck? The fuck? What? 
so well. Wait, so does that mean mercy? No. The dogs already know you smell fine. Okay. You smell like a weird puppy. <laughs> Number two nozzles champ. Oh god damn it, didn't read it. I read it in my mind and then I'm like, I'll read it. I didn't. Take my wife's please, don't actually. Shit, this is the weird one. I'm assuming I have to go underneath them? You pet Dagame. Well, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Right, I fucking hate this one. Alright, I'm assuming that's how you have to do it, so. Alright, let's pet this one too. You pet Dagarisa. Then the other one gets jealous. What the hell? No! Yes. Alright, you won. Cool. Now get to spare some of them. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. So I want to like keep a lot of characters alive, but I'm also going to be doing a pacifist run later, so... Who knows? Oh. what I do? Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay. Hey, looks Papyrus. Wait, what's up, Bomi? What? How did you avoid my trick? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Left it. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked spaghetti? Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. So as you can tell, I'm still recording at night, and I don't want to scream really loudly. Because my neighbor is, uh... Would probably kill me. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad it is. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. Oh god. Human. Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the show to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere to around. I suppose that what I am saying is worry not, human. I, the good virus, will solve the conundrum. And then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give any answers away. Alright, turn every X into an L. Then press the switch. Okay. Oh, this is pretty easy. Yeah, this is an easy one. Okay. That was actually a really easy one. <laughs> what? Wow, you solved it. And you did it at all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Hey, look, it's Sans. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. You say the same thing? Yeah. Alright, moving on. Oh god, hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphonse! You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Okay, I'm really confused so far. Also, if you a blue if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. 
you will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery slope it smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They do not do anything. Step on them while you like. How's that, understand? My voice is like changing as I'm reading this. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle. But has never been seen before. Not even I know the solution. Yeah, <laughs> get ready. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this better not be the puzzle. What the fuck? This looks like that Facebook thing. This was like a Facebook thing a couple months ago, where every, uh... Oh. So if it's just red, I get to pass by it. The machine isn't working. Why am I still talking like fucking papyrus? Actually, the spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. But if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Oh boy. Are we gonna have another dog? On the floor inside is a box of pomer 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 pomerasians? Pomerasians. Okay. Pom I'm, I'm pretty freaking He's my dog. Okay. It's a pile of mushy snow. Hey! Snow can always be broken down and rebuilt into something more useful. This simple fact fills you with determination. Let's save. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, I'm gonna check. Because the uh, last house... Okay, there's something here. Hey, we off. Okay, so another puzzle, right? Anything down here? Hey, look, papyrus. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it. It would red mark. Oh, that's pretty funny. Alright. Oh, shit. It's not right. This is like such a Pokemon puzzle. I love it. Hmm. I have to re I have to redo this. Can I like what? Oh, so I would just go here anyways. Okay, so wait, does that mean this can be reset? Go down there, go up there, go up there, go do 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 I got it. Wait, so Okay. Did I get it? I'm not sure, maybe? Yes, I got it. Hey, easy. Cool. Hey, is it? Oh, I'm sliding, okay. Uh, let's go down and see what's down here. Okay, that's sands. Let's go up here then. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. And snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's a 30G inside this. What is it? Can I get it then? It's snow puff. Oh, <gasps> doggy! Hey! It's a doggy that's all down there and everything. Yeah. Woo, doggy! That's not a doggy. Oh, it wants to fight me. Alright, anyways, let's continue and um, act. I want to spare this. Check. Uh, greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the hair. Alright, so, Beckon, you call the greater dog. It bounds toward you, fleeking slobber into your face. Ah, shit. Play. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Shit! Uh, I don't want to ignore it. That? The greater dog curls up in a lap, in your lap, as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Zzzz. Zzz, zzz. Then it wakes up. And now it's so excited. Hey! 
Okay. Uh, can I pet again? Great Dog Seven is creating a powerful field that prevents petting. No. So do I kill him? Great Dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Great Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now the dog is very tired. It rests your head on your wall. Hey. Alright, so pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movements slowed, but you still haven't pet enough? Oh, so I have to pet a lot more. Alright, pet again then, I guess. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over you with its leg hanging in the air. But apparently it's still sleeping. Well, that almost hit me. Hey, I can spare it now. Right? Yeah. Hey! Hey! It's a doggy! Does it go on an adventure with me? Oh. Let's go down. It's in here. It must be bigger on the inside. I always wanted to see a dog house, but when you live in New York, you never see dog houses because those don't exist in New York. What happened to Sands? It was here a minute ago. Did I go too far or something? It's a cave. Ooh. Ooh, can I fall off here? This reminds me of Legend of Zelda. It's a door. Oh, is that it? How do I get in the door? Did I fuck up? Did I miss a part? Oh, I knew I should have talked to Sans. Wait, maybe I should try out the combinations. It's a door. It's a door! It's a door. 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 Nope, I don't think I'm getting anything, yep. Damn. I was really hoping I would get the door. Oh man. What are these eyeball things? Like, there, there, with those things. What the fuck are those? What about the sands, God damn it! I wanna talk to him. That's what I get for petting the dog instead. They chose the dog over sands. Hey, John Bridge. Oh, the background is so cool looking. Ooh, Papyrus. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. There's a mace, there's a spirit. The dog! The dog! Hey, the dog! <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, it's a hold up. Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge. Seems maybe too easy to defeat the human. Yeah, but we can't use this one. I am a skeleton of standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are very expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away he goes. Fico. Oh, he cares. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Frapyrus. Yeah, yeah. Huh, yeah. So, I know I'm probably fucking late on this, but please tell me Sans is a reference to Comic Sans, because he fucking has Comic Sans as his text? The Papyrus has Papyrus text? Like, am I going crazy or is that actually it? I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay, so blue attacks, you have to stand still, okay. So I'm assuming he's gonna fight me. Welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. Aww. Okay. The sight of, the sight of such friendly, such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save. 
Alright, use the box? Yes. Uh, I don't really think I need any of these to be honest, because, uh, I don't know what they do. Hey! Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Let's talk to you. Say hello. Hiya! Welcome to the Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Oh. What did you hear? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Uh, Grilly has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the end. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. Uh, they just showed up one day and deserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think about- think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins, back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh. And don't think about trying to explore the ruins, uh, the door has been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost, or can bury on the ground, forget about it. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little cla claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Aww. Alright, so what can I buy from you anyways? Tough gloves. Oh! Oh, so I should probably get that back in my inventory. Manly bandana. Armor. It has abs on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> a manly ban bandana that has abs on it. That's so cool. Simon. Alright, that's it. Bye now. Come again sometime. I will. Alright, let's take everything back then. Sinan, hey! Welcome to the Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. 190's ADG! Fuck no. Well, feel free to come back anytime. I just wanna go upstairs. Ah, can I not? Well, what's this thing? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? How much money do I have, maybe? I don't have the money for it? I want to. That's so cool. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the part here. Uh, next time we'll continue on with the story, and um, you know, episodes from now on will be between 20, 30 minutes, uh, probably between the 25 minute mark usually. So, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy my commentary because I'm trying to make it more active. And I'm trying to voice the characters better. So let me know how that's going. And I'll see you guys next time. So again, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Later.